Okay, folks, welcome back. So the helicopter disaster has passed, and now we can continue on with our very important video game playing. So uh, we've uh, arrayed an army of red mages, and they've all had their default Final Fantasy 1 auto-generated names that reference other Final Fantasy characters, some of which you may even recognize if you've been following all of my series. So anyway, let's get started. You know, we'll skip all the story stuff. Like I was saying, if you watched The Knight or The Thief already, you know my feelings on spending a long time going over the story because that's not the point of these Let's Plays. This, these are about the challenges of a solo party run or a solo character run. And if you want to watch a series that covers the story and the more regular gameplay of the game, you should probably find one of those. For me, these are just sort of fun challenges, basically. And we're going to be playing oftentimes very quickly and discussing more specific issues for what happens if you're playing solo or maybe more in-depth game mechanics than what you maybe normally would worry about. So anyway, let's talk about the Red Mage very briefly here. Uh, in the NES runs, the Red Mage was definitely one of the easiest starting solo characters. I still wouldn't say as easy as the fighter, probably, but because you get... Uh, Fire 2 pretty early, and Lightning 2 pretty early, it's... They have a pretty quick time through Marsh Cave and Earth Cave and Ice Cave, although they have the same problems as everyone else where you get stun locked, but they've got a better way of killing an entire group in a single round. So they've got a pretty easy start and relatively good defense compared to the White and Black Mage. So anyway, those are our four Red Mages. One of them will be crowned victorious, and he will have the glory of uh, keeping his name, basically. We'll see who it is. So the rule is no one's allowed to kill a goblin until... Well, I mean, we can attack, but no one's allowed to get experience until only one is alive. And unfortunately for Kluya, being at the top, he the, the top rows almost always die first. Now, the other trick is we have to die and then escape without dying. Okay, so Yura was the successful candidate. Sometimes we get a party wipe and we have to try again. But Yura, you have successfully survived the challenge bonus round. And now you're in for a world of hurt as the solo red mage. So the cool thing is, of course, they can equip rapiers just like fighters. That's good. They can equip chain mail just like fighters. That's also very good. They can learn magic. Just like red mages, or just like white mages and black mages. Sadly, and this is perhaps the only big problem, they can't learn Blink. If they could learn Blink, they would be the hands-down best starting solo character without any doubt in my mind. But Kira's good anyway. Uh, what we'll do is pick them up. There's one battle that Sleep would help us with. So I'd like to get sleep. The low single target element spells do so little damage. Like, it'll help us out early game a little bit. But not much. I the, like one of, the, one of the tricks, of course, is you can still only learn three spells per level. Even though they don't... Even though we use MP now rather, and rather than spell, like, number of castings per tier. Um, we still can only learn three. And I don't think you can unlearn. Oh no, you actually can, never mind. One of the things that makes the game even easier. So if you don't like your spells, just unlearn them and try something else. That's pretty overpowered. Um, we're gonna want Cure early on. We can't learn Anti-Undead. We can't learn Blink. Protect? I wonder if that would have any value early game. I'm gonna pick it up. Maybe it'll help. And for now, I will pick up one offensive spell, and I'll probably replace that with sleep later. There you go. We're going to use all the mechanics the game to give us. <coughs> Alright, so have your rapier, have your chainmail. You're basically a slightly subpar fighter, but not that much weaker. Also, with whatever leftover money, we should probably buy some potions. I guess we've got the Cure spell, but I'll still buy potions because we don't have a lot of MP early on, so we can't really, uh... Oh, wait. I've got no HP. I should have, uh... I should have gone to the inn. That's fine. Minor... Minor mistake. Look at that. We've got enough money. We're fine. 
hey, the music is rewarding me for knowing how to make 30 gil quick. All right, we'll speed some stuff up, speed some cutscenes up a little bit. Let's go try to win our first fight. What do you think? You think you think Yura's got it in him? His cool red mage hat with his feather in his cap. So yeah, I mean, technically we know magic. We can't cast very much at level 1, but we should also take one damage from imps and kill them in one hit because we get fighter gear, which is kind of ridiculous. But I'm not going to complain, and success, we've killed our first group of imps and got a level up. Now, a lot of his growth will be mage stats rather than physical stats, so gaining 2 HP on level 2 is pretty pathetic. But, if we stick with it, we'll gain some HP eventually. So, we'll be using our super speed to do the easy combat. Um, I'll try to keep an eye on his stats a little bit at least, but... So theoretically, the sleep spell would help with large groups of goblins. Um, you know, we've not gained any HP at all. 2 HP twice in a row, that's kind of discouraging. So, uh, I'm just trying to prep for our first boss fight, and I figured maybe I'd get a couple levels. I just mostly want a little bit of HP. That's all I want. Uh, that's pretty rough. So, three level ups in a row with two HP. Okay, well, I mean, we'll try. This may require a little bit more grinding. I feel like that's unusually low amounts of HP. But, uh, 36. <laughs> okay, let's go try to fight Garland with 36. It's fine. He probably will only do 20 damage per hit. I mean, maybe I'll get a level up on the way over, right? That, that would help. How much do we need? We need uh, 10 XP. Let's get one more level up. Come on, give me, give me a nice easy fight. No problem. And two more. <laughs> well, <laughs> on the plus side, our spells will do a little bit more damage with the intellect boost. Okay, well, this is going to be really fun. Let's uh, wish me some luck, guys, because this seems like rather unfortunate amounts of HP when our eight MP is higher. Cool. And killed by zombies. The, the tale of Red Mage. Uh, we should be okay. Oh, hey, that's good. Level 5 gets us two attacks per round, right? That's new. So our physical attack is actually pretty acceptable. My problem is that I have very, very little actual HP total. So this might not work. Anyway, Garland stole the princess. We're going to save her. Or possibly just die terribly. Maybe Protect would be worth it? Because, yeah, I'm going to cast Protect twice. He still does five damage. I'm going to cast it three times. If we can bring him down to only one damage then we're actually good. Yeah, okay. Because I've got so few HP total, he regularly would do probably closer to 10 damage or 20 damage per hit. But we can buff it up enough that, uh, yeah, we're probably safe. Now, he might get a critical, uh, which would do double his normal damage, probably ignoring our defense. So let's keep our HP, you know, like at 30 or so. Anyway, we should be fine. Look at that. Using the Protect spell, a spell I probably almost never would normally use. Found a point. Found a good use for it. Alright, that's how you read- Thank you! Thank you. There's the HP I wanted. Alright. And all the stats. Great. So after we killed Garland, things got easier. That's fine. Now that we've got like twice as much HP, I can kind of have an easier time with things. Thanks, King. And also Princess Sarah can give me the loot. Maybe one day we'll use it for something. Who knows? Okay, oh yeah, also the bridge. Of course, you gotta build a bridge. Every time, you gotta build a bridge. Thank you, cool cutscene. Alright, uh... What do you think? You think we can just go straight to Provoka? We can do it. I believe in myself. Go over the bridge. Another cool cutscene. The one warrior of light with three body bags. Travels the world, wielding sword and staff. White and black. Saving the game, so I don't have to see that again. Let's go. Alright, we can do this. The thief died here a few times. We will totally not... Oh, you know what? I have to go back to town. I messed up. Now, the Gygus Worms are supposed to be weak to fire. But 
I think our physical attack actually does more damage, or similar. We're just barely strong enough to fight Gygus Worms. Now, the difference is, the thief had no choices. He just died, because if you couldn't run away, you couldn't kill them, you just die. The Red Mage, at least, we've got, like, strategy. Maybe I should be using that Protect spell more often early game. That that might be the key to early Red Mage. But uh, I, I realized that I forgot to buy the Sleep spell, so let's go pick that up. And a couple level ups wouldn't hurt. You know, if we can put all the pirates to sleep and then cast Protect twice, I bet you we got a pretty easy fight on our hands. So, let's say that Fire 1 is probably a waste of a slot. Cure and Protect are perhaps more valuable. And let's pick up something that might be worth it. Chance to put all enemies to sleep. You know, status ailments, my favorite. If you've been uh, around the channel for a while, you might know my opinions on small percent chance to inflict status effects. Uh, I generally hate them. But uh, maybe today, maybe, maybe we'll change my mind with Red Mage. Maybe we'll get some instant death spells and they'll kill everything and it'll be amazing. And everyone will cheer and they'll shout my name to the sky. Yeah, no, I, I don't think that's gonna happen. All right, to Provoka. And ambushed by crazy tra- uh, horses, not trains. They're pretty tough. Let's test out my strat. Defense up. All right, now they're only doing like one damage. Maybe I should try, you know, let's go all out for the strategy. Sleepy time, horses. What do you think? One out of three? Three out of three? Well, that one woke up pretty fast. I think they basically wake up after one turn. So it's good against large groups. But it doesn't really... When you're playing as a solo character, it doesn't really buy you. Like, you spend one action for everyone else to waste one action. But it doesn't really gain you any ground. So nice being able to cure on the fly without having to use potions for everything. Maybe I'll try sleep again. I don't know. The Warg Wolf can do some damage. I mean, that's not bad. Let's protect up. Because I think he'll take two or three attacks to kill. Maybe two. Two. We're getting double attacks already, so that's pretty good. Alright, we'll kill the rest of the wolves. Why not? It looks like they don't always wake up after a single round. I did notice at least one wolf stayed asleep for a while. So, that's cool. So far, so good, right? That's a bit... Uh, fine. Playing as a red mage, we've got access to protect. I'm pretty sure even the war wolf will do one damage with protect on. So it's just a matter of speeding through this. I'm pretty sure we'll get a level up out of it, so... There you go. Two more HP. Amazing. Not not great. Not great. We've had basically one good level up for HP and the rest have been plus two. So, you know. Okay, enough wolves. I'm... Seriously, I've had enough of wolves. Yeah, I mean, that's like pushing on nearly 30 wolves at this point. Alright, lizard. What you got? You got nothing. You got no game. Actually... We're getting pretty low. Ooh, don't kill me! Please don't kill me, sir! Okay, that was... That was boss fight there. That was that was very close. Let's, uh, heal up, maybe. Maybe do a little bit of healing and a little bit of saving. Yeah, let's do all that. Okay, so we're level 9 at Provoka. That's pretty good. Let's, uh, maybe buy some more armor. If we can. I'm not sure if there's any upgrades for the Red Mage here. Iron Armor would be way too powerful. I guess we could get plus one defense from the gloves. We're probably not going to be banking on evasion, really. So, absorption or defense is probably better. Um, so, we got more magic. More s weapons. I guess we could look at the weapons first. We should probably... Let me see. I forget if there's anything useful for Red Mage. Um, silence is good for one enemy. Invis is our first way to raise evasion. It's probably not much worse than Blink. 
That's mostly worthless. This is good in very specific situations. If you've watched the Thief run, you know how good that can be. So, of all this stuff, forget about single enemy magic damage. That's not very good. Temper, pretty fun. Slow is a status effect. It'll probably never do what you want it to do. So, if we instead go Evasion and Silence for now... Oh, I'm out of money. That's fine. Well, we'll get some money. Temper will want forever. Invisibility will probably want until we get the Defense Sword. And then we can have Silence, maybe Anti-Lightning, stuff like that. Silence is probably only really valuable for one specific fight, but... So... Oh, I just need more money than I can compare them. I think the broadsword is better, though. The scimitar is really only for the thief. The broadsword is good for red mages and uh, warriors. So I don't have very much HP, but unlike all the other fools that we've done solo challenges with thus far, we have more options here. Now, I'm going to try to open with sleep, because that's the classic pirate killer. And then I'm probably going to try to raise my evasion so they stop killing me. We got most of them, so if I can get a couple turns to get some evasion up, I think I'll be set. Whoa, we're invisible! I'm still there, but I'm... I can't see... Oh, there I am. It's the, you know, fading, blinking, back and forth thing. So invisibility truly made me invisible. <laughs> I did get hit once. So I don't know, like, how much it adds to your evasion stat. Blink was like, usually you cast Blink twice and you're basically impossible to hit. I have a feeling invis Invisibility is about half as powerful as Blink, but the pro is you can cast it on anyone rather than only yourself. Um, and also that the Red Mage can learn it. So four of them hopefully counts like the same as uh, two Blinks. And then I'll put a Protect up just in case I do get hit. And I think at this point... You know, the pirates are basically hosed. I'll put them back to sleep. Just because we're going all out red mage. We're really trying to showcase the red mage's abilities here. Let's temper up a couple times. We're going to just use all of our magic. Every spell we've got, we're going to use in this fight pretty much. Okay. Um, kind of running low on HP and MP, so let's heal up as well. Red mages, putting enemies to sleep. Buffing themselves up, and then attacking with the sword for some amount of damage, assumedly. A hundred damage, probably more... Well, pretty low level, I guess, all things considered, but pretty good for a mage, right? This is the red mage's time to shine. Let's, let's show it off. I don't think the sleep really made much difference. Probably starting out with invis was probably smarter, just to get that evasion up instantly. But anyway, I mean, we got them. They can't even hit me now, right? What can you do against an invisible red mage? Nothing, I say. Even if we have no HP, you can't kill what you can't hit. Alright, that was fun. I'm really enjoying having some options now, rather than basically always doing the same thing, which is hope that you get can, can kill nine pirates before they kill you. Okay, so with that, to 511 gold, that's enough to improve our weapon. So the broadsword is 15 and 10. Yeah, it's always better than the scimitar. So there you go, pretty good damage up. We're also pretty close to getting three attacks per round. Probably maybe one or two more level ups. Probably one more level up actually. We'll be getting three attacks. Now I need a little bit more money to buy uh, the silent spell. Yeah. So we're gonna... Oh yeah. I've been playing this game for all this time and I keep forgetting I have to do this every time. So let's uh, try to get 250 gold. Maybe from some pirates? I just want to buy the spell while I'm here so I have to come back. Uh oh. Sharks are pretty tough. Boy. That was not enough money. You know what I should also do? 
Save the game. That's the spirit. All right, so sharks, no joke. Come on. Somebody give me some money. We can kill some Sahagin. To be fair, well, we're going to need to... One of the differences here is now that we're playing as a mage character, money is a lot more important than it was with the thief or the fighter. Uh, now that we have to buy spells and weapons and armor, we actually need quite a lot of money for stuff, so... Anyway, buy that silent spell while I'm here, because I'm going to need it later. Not for a while, but I just want to buy it now. Okay, so let's head to the dwarf cave, because there's some free money over there. Actually, I'd, I'd like to rest up first. Would you mind giving me some money, please? Some money, pirates? Maybe? Anybody want to fight me? They're scared of us. Alright, so luckily Sahagin are pretty easy. And enough money for us to rest. Yay! I can afford the inn! Alright. So, we're gonna take a little... Ah! Do I have enough money? I can buy a couple antidotes just in case we... I can buy one antidote just in case we get poisoned. There we go. Look at me doing my due diligence. Alright. To be fair, we're barely strong enough for this area, but... With the power of running away, I think we can make it. Hey, it's an ogre! Let's see if we're strong enough to fight an ogre. Three hits to kill, probably? I would like a level up and start getting more attacks per round. That would definitely help me out. Also, look at those amazing HP growths! So I did get three hits. That'll make things a little bit easier. Here's some money. About a thousand gold, approximately. And some more snakes. Sorry, snakes. There's no planes here. I don't know why you keep bugging me. Oh, the one poison. All right, well. Bet you're glad I brought that antidote, eh? All right. Come on, I'm out of here. I'm free! I'm a free red mage. Okay, and then we get killed by wolves, the last step. Alright, so. With a little bit of money in our hands, in our pockets, we'll head down to Elfland where the spells get good. I'm a little bit worried about taking too much damage here, so let's try to not get hit as much. Ooh, not good. I need to be more invisible. I'm not invisible enough, clearly. Okay, the shark does not care about our invisibility. This is bad. Neither does the Sahagan Chief. I need more invisibility. The blink spell is so much better. Like, two blinks and nobody hits you ever. It takes like three or four invis. Alright. I think when I said it took around twice as many uh, castings, I think that's true. Alright, so we did win, but it was close. On the good news, that was a good level up. We got a big patch of uh, HP again. Big, big satchel of HP. Alright. Hanging in there. Got lost a little bit. Here we are. To the land of elves, and more importantly, the land of level 2 fire magic. Yep. So as far as level, or sorry, level 3. It's, it's fire 2 at the level 3 slot, that's all. Um, we're not going to use hold, we're not going to use focus. We'll probably get Fyra and Thundera. And probably Cura. Although having access to stop fire damage or reduce fire damage would be valuable. Doesn't matter about heal or Diera, but I'll have to think about it. I want at least Fyra and Cura, and then it's either Thundera or Null Blaze. Thundera will be good for sea, vi sea trips, and actually. Against the uh, wizards, or um, what's they're called? What their face? Uh, they have a weird name. Whatever the wizards are called, the the enemies that guard the uh, the the crown in the in the marsh cave. Um, they uh, they're strong to fire or ice, so we'll probably want to use Thundera on them. So I'm probably not going to be buying Null Blaze anytime soon. We can cast it. You do have a uh, just in case you're wondering. You do have a magic level, which is the maximum level you can cast at, and that's based on your character level. So, uh, just because you use MP, it hasn't completely abandoned the system. Uh, level 4... 
Uh, I mean, Null Frost will probably want. I'm pretty sure Antidotes will be better than wasting a slot on Poizo Poizona or Poizona. Uh, Blizzera will be fine. Haste is pretty much mandatory, and the rest is garbage. So Blizzera, Haste, and maybe Null sh Null Ice. Just planning stuff out. That's all. Uh, armor. I guess I'll take the plus one defense. It's not much. But uh, that's fine. One less damage or so. And I don't think there's any real weapons. Yeah, so we're basically as strong as we're going to get is what I'm hearing. Let's uh, see if we can kill stuff. So how long has it been? 25 minutes? I don't think I've got time to get to the Marsh Cave in this episode. I think we're going to need some money. And we get pretty good money from ogres, but... I mean, it's just, it's going to take a little while to buy what I need to buy. Because I'm going to want probably the haste spell. Probably a couple more level ups one way or the other. But, I mean, the good thing is the red mage with uh, level 2 magic. Stuff like this that usually was a real problem for a thief and fighter. Just a waste of time more than anything. We can wipe them out in one turn, which is pretty acceptable, right? And, uh... Because of the magic use, it's actually more profitable by a fair margin to train near a town. Because we can just go back in and uh, restore our MP instantly. Not that our physical attack is bad, it's just convenient to have um, magic AoE. It's good stuff. Boom! Shaka laka laka. How long do you think it would take me to grind up the money I need? Hmm. There's no armor that I need to purchase. It's just the spells I want. I need Thundera for the wizard types, so that's a thousand, which I've got already. We'll probably want to bring some potions and antidotes. Uh, Blizzera would be nice. More expensive. Getting some level ups doesn't hurt. Um, we're still not actually able to cast magic level 4. So we should at the very least get to the point where we can cast haste. Uh, although we might not be use well we wouldn't- we probably wouldn't use haste on the wizards, but we'd probably use it on Astos. In fact, that's probably the only way for us to kill him, honestly. Or, well, Blizzera might work, I don't know. Be interesting to see. Honestly, the grinding is kind of more convenient now that we've got Fyra. <laughs> that saves so much time just wiping out a group of creeps in one spell. Now, I should be careful. If I go too far west here, you can run into Marsh Cave enemies, namely the Geist that can stunlock us. And I probably don't want to worry about being stunlocked. Even though you actually get pretty good money and experience from the... whatever they're called. Originally they were Geists. But, um... The undead stunners, they're they are kind of annoying. We can kill them with fire pretty easily, but um, if they get an attack and stun us, we're boned. 112. It'd be nice also to get to the point where we have one more big HP growth, because our, our HP stat is pretty pathetic. Um, the wizards could very likely just kill us in a single one or two attacks, because they'll do... Well, probably 50 to 100 damage, depending on their luck. So we've got level 4 unlocked. Let's get one more level up, and then we'll see how much money we've got to uh, to play with. Yeah, fire, uh, fire 2 here. Just saving me all the time in the world. That was a good level up. That was a nice HP gain. Yeah, that was nice. Alright, so let's see here. Um, first things first, heal up. Second things second... We're going to want Thundera no matter what because we need the elemental choice. I should probably try to buy Blizzera as well just to give me more elemental options depending on what we're fighting. It's pretty expensive. Haste. I need Blizzera and Haste eventually. So maybe what? Take a dive into Marsh Cave, kill the wizards or whatever they're called. Come back, buy Haste, and then go fight Astos. I don't need the other two spells. I don't need anything here. 
And I wanted to buy Cure 2 anyway to give us a bit of a... Another option for healing a little bit more damage. Yeah. At some point, once we get access... Like, I might want to buy Null Blaze for the Lich. Because the Lich has Fire 2. Or maybe even Fire 3 sometimes. And having that would be quite helpful. I don't think you can silence the Lich, so... But Astos, we might not need to worry about his magic at all. Because we have a fancy little strategy for him. Uh, so let's buy a few antidotes. Because I'll probably need some. And I'll buy the re spend the rest of my money on potions. Alright, so I think we'll call that an episode. 30 minutes in. We're, we're off to a good strong start. Uh, obviously we could level grind some more. But I'm going to attempt the Marsh Cave at level 16. Which should be okay. Uh, assuming we're able to... Thundera the wizards down or evade enough that they can't kill us instantly. It'll be interesting to see how that goes down. Anyway, that's all for today's episode. Thanks for watching. I hope you have enjoyed and see you next time.